Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. If one third times g of x is equal to g of one third times x, which of the following must be true for all real values of x? Okay, so we're dealing with functions here, right? Function notation. And as I like to say, when you're dealing with functions, you want to think like a machine. That is to say, think as little as possible. You just want to be able to plug and chug with functions, right? Now, the second part of the sentence is very important. We're looking for something that must be true for all real values of x. That means that we should be able to pick a value of x, and one of these answer options will always be true. So why don't I start by saying x equals 1? Okay, so we're going to say what's 1 third times g of 1? Uh, and what's g of one third times one, right? Let's plug it into each one of these. Okay, so g of one is going to be the cube root of one, one plus seven, eight. One third of that is going to be one third times eight, so eight over three. I'll write that over here. And then g of one third is going to be the cube root of one third plus seven. That's going to be seven point dot 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 dot, right? It's not the same, right? These two are not equal, and so this one fails the test. Goodbye. All right, uh, let's try this one. Plug in one here. Uh, G of one is five, five times one. One third of that is five thirds. Okay, so that's that. And then what's G of one third? Well, G of one third would be five times one third or five thirds. Okay, so these two are equal. Now, maybe there are multiple ones that are equal, so let's double check these other ones just to be sure. We'll do it really quick. Um, g of 1 here is 1 minus 8, negative 7. Uh, is that equal to uh, 1 third minus 8? No, it's not. So that's out. How about this one? Uh, g of 1 would be 1 cubed. Is that equal to 1 third cubed? No, it's not. So that's out. How about this one? g of 1 is equal to 3 plus 3, 6. Is that equal to g of 1 third, which is uh, 3 times 1 third, 1 plus 3, 4? No, it's not. So the only one that works, we only had to test one answer or one uh, one option here is answer option B. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.